The Bad Rabbits Alliance for Samurai Siege makes available to its members a troop calculator. In this video, we'll quickly go over how to use that troop calculator. This is a spreadsheet which is made available to you as a Google Doc. It's not really a shared Google Doc because when you request it as a member of the Alliance, you are provided with your very own copy, which will be available to you in your own Google Drive. The benefit of this is that any of the changes you make to it are preserved for you, so nobody else is going to be modifying it as they upgrade their troops or modify their troop selections. It remains the same for you as it is the last time you used it. And the way that Google Docs work is that any change you make is immediately saved. You don't have to worry about saving it as you go. Every change is automatically and immediately saved. So when you open up your spreadsheet for the first time, you'll notice that there are boxes in different colors. The boxes that are in bright yellow and light yellow are the ones that you will change values in. All the other boxes in this entire sheet are ones that you should leave alone. You're only going to be reading information from them. You're not going to be modifying them at all. Most of them contain formulas behind the scenes for you. And if you do try to modify that, the formulas will be written over and lost to you. We can recreate them if you do make a mistake, so don't worry, but basically you only want to be modifying the three boxes in bright yellow that you see at the top of the sheet here and the boxes that are light yellow here. So let's begin. Let's say that you have a troop capacity of 150. That's the value that you will enter in this box here, troop capacity. Now you may have three dojos, you may have four dojos, however many you have, enter that value here. Let's say that right now you only have three. Maybe you have four, but you're upgrading one and it's not available to you right now. So we'll make that modification and simply click on a box and then type over it to change that number. You can also double click on it and swipe through it and use your cursor that way to highlight it and then change it. But you can simply just, with all of the boxes, just click on them. For instance, here you'll be modifying your capacity for how many scrolls you can take into battle as you upgrade your scroll statue. So again, you would just click on the box and type the new value that you want in it. This column here on the left contains the level of the troop. You may be starting at this point with level three troops. Go ahead and fill those in. And I'm just hitting enter or tab as I finish entering a number and it goes from one to the next. And let's say I have a level one healer and an essence master, and maybe I don't have dragons. Well, don't leave this box empty. If you do not yet have a dragon, for instance, or any other troop, just leave it as level one, which would be the lowest level available once you do have it. And it will not be calculated into the totals for you because you'll leave the value in the right column at zero. So these levels here in the left column will only be modified occasionally as you level up. On the other hand, the values in the right column under the heading how many of each to train will vary as you play around with different mixes of troops. And you might have a different troop mix that you use when you're going out to gather honor or when you're going farming or when you're at war. So whatever the purpose is of your troop mix at this moment, go ahead and enter in how many of each kind of troop you think you'd want to use. For example, let's say that we're interested in working on a troop mix for farming. So 
I'm going to say that I want 15 ninjas, 15 samurai, I'll carry three ram in, I won't use any commanders, this is just an example of course, and I'll try for 60 archers and five mongols, and then I'll leave these values at zero. Well, that just happened to be an exact 150. Let's say I decide that I'd like to carry more Mongols in. So I'll let's say that I go for eight Mongols. Notice here in this orange box, it immediately gives us feedback on how many other troop slots we have to remove to keep our balance. So because Mongols take up two housing space, by adding three Mongols, we have six too many troop. So if I want to do that, maybe I'll drop this down to 55, and it says you still need to drop one. So I'll take my Samurai down to 14 to balance that out. So I can work with my mix, my recipe in this way. The value of the calculator is that it gives you immediate feedback about how much this troop combination will cost you. Here in blue at the top, we see that this mix would cost us 82,000 units of essence. If we use a free scroll and an earthquake scroll, we can also see how much jade that costs us. And remember that as you update your scrolls to change that level assignment in the left-hand column. Let's say I've upgraded my scrolls to level 3 freeze and level 2 earthquake. The cost of these are, is already built into the spreadsheet. So as soon as I assign those values, I see that now if I decide to use one of each scroll, that's going to cost me 117 jade. So that lets me know what kind of a base to choose to raid. In this case, if I'm farming, I definitely want to make sure that I'm going to make more than 82,000 essence and more than 117 jade. Now, how long will this take? It's going to take me 16 minutes to train all of these troops from no troop at all to being fully loaded. If I only have three dojos available, I would change that to a three, and you'll see that that's value is immediately updated and in that case it's going to take 21 minutes. Naturally as you upgrade to Castle 7 and your troop capacity rises you would change that value here 185 and it would go to 190, 195 and then 200 and you immediately see that you have 35 more troop available to use. So you can choose how you want to distribute that in your recipe of your troop blend. Notice that each time we make a change, it's reflected here. Now, one note, if you do make a change and you do not see it immediately reflected in one of the cells where information is being read back to you, in other words, either in the cost of essence or jade, or the information about how many more or less troop you need to calculate or in the number of minutes. If you don't see a change after you make a, a modification in one of the yellow boxes, remember that you are looking at a web page and every once in a while it needs a little wake-up call. So use the refresh button on your web page or use a control R or command R, whatever is appropriate for the browser you're using to refresh the page. Again, this is brought to you by the Bad Rabbits Alliance for Samurai Siege. Contact us. You'd be very welcome to join us. That's essentially all you need to know about using the calculator.